Hey folks, here at OSMVTXPs.com, you're watching our video review of the Drinking Bird, which you can purchase online on eBay, and also in toy stores for around 3 to $5, depending on where you look. So it's very inexpensive, and it's founded, of course, on a multitude of different scientific principles, from chemistry to physics, and essentially it's a... Uh, eternal system, it's an internal cycle where as long as you have this drinking bird in contact with water, it's always going to try to drink the water with its beak attached to the water, and then it's going to swing back and forth between, uh, and then a liquid is going to go up the pipette, and then it's going to go down and drink the water again, and it's going to repeat over and over again as long as the beak can touch the water, um, and the felt tip can touch the water for the beak. So it's a pretty sensitive system. It relies on, again, many different aspects for it to work correctly, uh, but it's pretty inexpensive, and it also is uh, a pretty interesting toy, especially for exploring science and uh, technology in general. And of course, it doesn't use any batteries, which is always fascinating for a lot of kids out there. So um, I'm just going to go over and see some of the principles that's on here, and uh, it uses, first of all, the combined gas law, which establishes proportional relationship between temperature and pressure, so PV equals NRT, Pivner's law, to be specific, and um, again, pressure going up the tube, allowing the uh, drinking bird to go down and drink the water, and then also temperature of the water um, and evaporation as well. Again, heat of evaporation or condensation to let the actual water on the beak uh, this dissipate over time, and as a result, the beak can get heavier or lighter depending on where it is on the position. And of course, um, this also works on torque and center of mass because on the position of the center piece is what, what allows the device to actually uh, go back and forth and actually work. And um, of course, there's also uh, wicking the felt and also the um, action of the actual pressure and liquid going up the tube for the process to actually occur. And um, Essentially, it is, is, again, a system that's going to go back and forth and repeat itself. So to go over uh, a brief summary that's been written online at wikipedia.com of what happens into the, into the bird when it's going through this, I'm going to read it now. So the water evaporates from the felt on the head. Evaporation lowers the temperature of the glass head, heat of evaporation. The temperature drop causes some of the um, dichoromethane vapor in the head to condense, which is the liquid inside. And the lower temperature and condensation together causes the pressure to drop in the head, which is part of the ideal gas law. The temperature difference between the head and the base allows the liquid to be pushed up from the base, and as liquid flows into the head, the bird becomes top-heavy and tips over during its oscillations. When the bird tips over, the bottom end of the neck tube rises above the surface of the liquid, a bubble of vapor rises up through the tube, through the gap, displacing the liquid as it goes inside the bird. Liquid flows from the bottom bulb, the toy is designed so that when it's tipped over, the neck next till allows this, and vapor pressure equalizes between the top and the bottom bulbs, the weight of the liquid in the bottom bulb restores the bird to its vertical position. The liquid in the bottom bulb is heated by ambient air, which is at a temperature slightly higher than the temperature of the bird's head and the water. So if a glass of water is placed so the beak dips into a descent, the bird will continue to absorb water, and the cycle will continue as long as there is enough water in the glass to keep the head wet. Sometimes when the bird stops, it's, uh, so it's, when it stops tipping, uh, it could be because the position of the center of balance and torque is not pr uh, positioned properly, which you can adjust, or if there's not enough water. Anyway, it's a pretty interesting device, a very inexpensive and great for scientific projects, and just a cool little nifty tip uh, you can place on a desk to fascinate your guests or fascinate yourself with over time. Thanks for watching this video review here at OS Reviews and OS Tech News. Uh, thanks for watching. This has been The Drinking Bird.